Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to get your messy, disorganized space nice and tidy. We're a family of five and we live in an 850 square foot condo in downtown Toronto. Today I'm going to give you guys a tour of my kids' unisex shared bedroom and share some of the organization tips that worked in their small bedroom. Stick around till the end of this video because I'll be sharing a freebie that will definitely help you out. Now don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I'll be posting a useful video just like this one every single week. Before I start, just a heads up that if you're looking for any of the products that I mentioned in this video, they are linked in the description box down below. Our condo is a two bedroom plus den. We converted the den into a nursery slash storage area and that's where baby Josh sleeps. As for our other two kids, Kian and Isha, they share this small bedroom. I decided to put their beds against the wall and the balcony window so that they'd have an open space in the middle of their room for them to play. Their beds are toddler beds from Ikea. I couldn't get them bunk beds since they're too young and I love these beds because they're so easy to assemble, they're inexpensive and they're high enough so that I can store things underneath their beds. We use the chest of drawers to store things like baby wipes, towels and other home goods. We actually don't even use it for Kian and Isha stuff. This large cabinet is for all sorts of supplies like paper, craft supplies, gift wrap materials, etc. Again, not really used for Kian or Isha stuff. It's a good idea to use vertical space when you're in a small space. So I've put these bins on top of this cabinet. One of them is for items that need to be donated and the other holds the clothing that Kian has grown out of and will be handed down to Josh. I use the walls behind their bedroom door to hang some folding chairs and we use these chairs whenever we have guests that need some extra seating. I use cloth diapers on Josh and store them in this shoe organizer on the back of their bedroom door. Part of their play area is in our living room and part of it is in their bedroom. They have a dress up area, a kitchen and an area for their books in their bedroom. If you want to know more about playroom organization, I suggest you check out this video where I went into greater detail on how to organize a playroom. I like having this rug in the middle of the room. Isha actually does use it to play hopscotch and it's nice for them to have a rug to play on. We don't have a dining table, so the kids just used this little table that I moved back and forth from the living room to their bedroom. The top was originally white, but they damaged it with markers, so I covered it with chalkboard paper. As for their clothing, I added an extra rod so that I could hang Isha's clothing on top and Kian's on the bottom. As for items that aren't hung like underwear, socks and shorts, I store them in these pink and blue containers. I also added these shoe racks to not only increase their shoe storage, but I was also able to create another level of shelving with these shoe racks. To personalize their own little spaces, I gave them different colored bedding, put their names on the wall, and I put this shadow box with items from when they were born in it. Isha loves pink and loves butterflies, so I put some of those on her wall. Again, just a reminder that all the products are linked in the description box down below. And there you have it guys, that is how I managed to create a shared bedroom for my son and my daughter. I really hope that you got some inspiration from this and learned some new storage solutions. If you like the tips I shared in this video, follow me on Facebook and Instagram because I'm constantly sharing very useful tips and tricks all about small space organization over there. Next week, I'm going to be sharing my secrets on how to look good in less time. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when that video is posted. And since you've stuck around this far into the video, I'm going to share a freebie that I know will truly help you get your playroom more organized. In the description box down below, you'll find a link to my free guide all about playroom organization. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you know would find it useful. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. I'm sure you'll find them useful too. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!